The greatest skills, your chance to learn from the masters. To be a top player, you have to have a vision and also you have to have a, a talent that can overcome your opponent in a 1v1 situation. It's to be able to outmaneuver your opponent with the ability to beat him, the ability to overcome tight marking or tackling in a way that people say, whew, I'm coming back to see this. Attitude is one of the main things in football, I think. And if you got attitude, come on, take the ball from me, beat me. Uh, that's uh, it's a nice feeling to have to have, have that confidence. And the manager allows us to to express ourselves, especially the last third of the pitch. That's that's where you should do it. My right, boys, bring it in. Come on, quickly, Jimmy. The skill we're gonna concentrate on today it's what we call the drag back this one works best if the ball is lying still so most likely it's when you receive the ball and then the defender comes in Justin can you just play that ball in for me I receive it there just to give it a little bit of space just imagine there's a defender coming in <clears throat> your kicking foot on the ball drag it back twist and go the other way right if you do it with your left same thing so you receive it there's a defender comes in from that side twist turn and off you go there are four steps to the drag bag. Step one, plant your non-kicking foot behind the ball, not too close. Step two, put your kicking foot on top of the ball. Step three, drag the ball back and twist your body in the direction you want to go. Step four, push the ball away with the inside of the same foot. You actually suddenly say to the defender, right, here it is, pick it up. Right? So I make him believe that he can steal it off me. You can see from below that the ball is quite a distance away. This is what teases the defender. Anthony, if you can step out, just a minute over there, that's the defender. Now he comes, look, now I take it away. Spin away, right? You make him believe he can steal it. Come here. Good, come on, come on, play on, play on, Anthony, play on. That's it. Well done. Good, Nicky. Change, that's it, that's it. Oh, Jim, brilliant. And score, fantastic. You want to receive the ball away from the defenders, you have to tease them. Sometimes you just stop the ball. That's a great way to do a drag back, if you stop the ball. Play me the ball, Nicky. Plays the ball, I stop it there. Jassy, charge in, charge in, boom, there you go. That's it, Ben, and finish. Great ball, come on, Nicky, play on. Good, set him up. Well done, good goal. That's your reward, that's your end product. Come on. Your end product will come too if you perfect the drag back. It's a great skill to embarrass an opponent. Morning. Good morning, okay. lads. Uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer yes, is a constant that. thorn in defenders' sides. He knows all about making an opponent look silly. Try to tease the defender to take it, take the ball. When you try, have a good first touch, or the first thing, first, import, most important thing is to get it away from the defender. Have a good first touch. And for me as a striker, sometimes it's very useful just to have a short, so I can have a shot after. The defender tries to, Take me, the goal is there, so I can shoot. Not too far away, always have it under control after the first touch. I'm trying, trying to teach you to try to get it, because I know I'm quicker than you. I know what I want to do. So when you try to get the ball, get away and shoot. Watch it now, I'll try to get it. What went wrong there? The drag back was very good, but the touch, touch to the side, you didn't control too, do, do, too well. Do it again, Pussy. But the drag back was perfect. Good. Oh, yes. Yes. Well done, Pussy. Great finish.
But yep. so, uh, you don't yeah. always get the defender from, from that side. side. You'll get it from the other side as well. Right, that's, what, that's a good point because that's what I want to ask you now. If I come from this side now, would yeah. you then do it with your left foot? Or? Uh, I would because I'm just as good with both feet. No. <laughs> you me? Ideally, you'd like to do it with both feet, like with the left. If Rene comes, and I'm in and out. you come out. But if you're not that comfortable with your left foot, you can also shield the ball there. And do it with your right, drag back and flick it back with your heel. Because then... Do you, as a defender, just talk, 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 talk him through. Because uh, now, Ale. then I can control you because I can shield the ball there and I can drag it back with the, with the right foot. That's if the right foot is the more comfortable one. Obviously, you can do it with the left as well. But then you need to be comfortable with both feet. David, you are left footed, are you? Can you do it? So you can... I'll be your defender. You okay? You ready? Ready? Yep. Whoa! So you well can done. do it with your right as well. Well, you were left footed, weren't you? So, see? He's comfortable with both feet. If you just got a skill for two or three seconds to, to beat a man, you can score a goal. Decides a whole year of hard work and everyone's happy. You, you might win a trophy on it. So, for me, I've uh, tried to develop more and more during my years here. At the highest level, that may, that's the thing that makes the difference between Manchester United and other teams because we've got players that can do these little things in the tight games. For example, Paul Scholes, Ruud van Nistelrooy, any, any of our players have, have a skill that we can decide a game with, win 1-0. So my advice is just to keep practicing skills. A small-sided game is the best place to try your skills out. Let's see how the academy kids do against the pros and two world-class goalkeepers. Come on, we need attitude of shooting. And shoot! Yes! Well, yeah. and that's good play by Roger Burr. Tommy Taylor out wide there. Onto George Best. Oh, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Now, good run here by Bobby Charlton. It's looking good. A lot of young kids, um, young children, uh, when they realise that they're good at the game, I think most of them would say, well, I'd like to play for Manchester United. I think the history of, the, of this team, of United, brought us, you know, brought the attacking football in uh, all, the, all those years, you know, the, the players and the, the, the coaches and the managers, you know, they, they preferred the attacking football, all them stars from the past. They made the history, to, to be fair, and we now have uh, you know, our, our, our part in that, and we want to continue that. There was a wall behind the Stratford end, a big wall, and when I was on my own, I would get a, a couple of footballs and, and I would just practice, just knocking the ball against the wall and back to me. I'd use my left foot, I'd use my right foot, I had a half volley, I'd, I'd volley, I would control it with my chest and then I would volley it back, and, and on my own, I improved myself. I've always used to say um, to any, any good, good young player, you know, if you really want to make it to the top, you have to practice. There isn't a footballer born that hasn't improved be because of practice. Drop of the shoulder and a shift of the feet. They all do it, but it's Skulls' favourite. You have to work, work on things in training, you know, to hopefully then, then they'll come off in a game. Just a matter of trying to create a little bit of space, and then you know, if you have a bit of space, just try and get your shot off or your pass or you know, whatever it may be. It's good when it comes off, obviously, and you know, it's nice to try and just, just make space for the shot. The skill I've got for you is a great skill to beat opponents when they are in front of you. A legendary player, Stanley Matthews, used to do this all the time. That's why we call it the Matthews. Let me show you. If you look at this skill, there's not too much to this skill. You're faking the defender to go one way and then you push it away to the other way. With my left, you go past it. There's four steps to this skill. Step one, plant your non-kicking foot to the side of the ball. 
Exaggerate this step to fool the defender. <coughs> step two, drag the ball into this space with your kicking foot. <coughs> step three, bring your kicking foot around inside the ball. Step four, push the ball away with the laces of your kicking foot. Tom, can you just come in and be my defender? So if this is the situation here, right, Step this. What way do you think I'm going, Tom? Yeah. Because I dropped my shoulder, brought the ball in, defender steps in, take a boom and pass the space the defender leaves for you. Right, Tom, you have a go. You're left footer. You do it with your left. I'm your defender. Oh, great dummy. Danny, can you step in as a defender? Do it again, Tom. Real time now, right? Really full at them. You know that's important, the approach. Straight at the defender. Full pace. You defend, Daddy. Good. Excellent. Learn the steps, then build up to full speed. Watch as the foot moves around the ball. The first touch with the inside, the second with the outside. All in one movement. Paul Scholes has been at the heart of Manchester United's success for the last 10 years. Great goals, tricky skill and an overpowering will to win have combined to make him one of the first names on the team sheets of club and country. He's loved by the fans and treasured by his teammates. He's a quiet man, but um, he's well appreciated by the fans here and of course by uh, his teammates. If he's not scoring goals, he's usually setting them up. Uh, and he must be a nuisance for the opposition. And again, we feel very lucky that uh, he's a Man United player. Paul has come through the same ranks as the young academy players. Now it's his turn to coach them. Brad, can you come out? Could you, Brad, if you are the defender now and Paul does that, are you ready, Brad? Because he's going to come at you. I think it's important to, first of all, try and make you look that way, you know, so just as if we're going to go this way, so you're looking, I mean, all of a sudden, you know, a little drop, drop of the shoulder and, and try and get away and get your shot in or your pass or whatever it may be. The basic thing you're trying to do is off-balance him, you know, trying to get him, get the defender to go that way and, and you sneak off the other way and, you know, hopefully then you can, you can get your shot in or your pass or, you know, whatever you want to do. Do you think, Brad, you can do it. Right. Shall we have a go? Can you try? Come on, then. You do it with Paul. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Excellent. Excellent. Can you do it again, Brad? No, a little bit pace. Come on. Oh, very good. There's, Hello, there's, there's, one, there's one thing, Paul, which stands really out, I think, with both you, both you see doing it. It is that when you lean in to that defender, like you said, to off-balance it, this needs to go really quick, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like that, because that sets you off. Putty, just come out a minute. Right, <clears throat> let's see if Putty, you can do this. If I beat Paul like that, boom, all the time, and I do it, have I got another skill to still make him believe I do that and suddenly I do something different? You think, Putty? What do you think then? What would you do? What would you do? Come on. Oh, brilliant, fantastic. That's a great variation. Are you, are you with me, Paul? You yes. think? It's a, is that a good one? Yeah, it's very good, yeah. If, you know, if you can't, obviously can't be trying to do the same thing every time and if you've, you've got a little, little bit of variation to go the other way, then that's ideal. For this skill to really work, you need a moving ball. As the defender expects a Matthews, swing your kicking foot around the ball and push away with the other foot. Can you still remember, Paul, when you were their age, was there a particular player which you really favoured for, you know, skill-wise, looking at the TV and thinking, wow, look at him. Well, skill-wise, was uh, people like Maradona, you know, w watching him in the World Cup, the, the, the things he did and the way he went past players, I suppose, was, you know, it was fantastic for children like me to watch. I think it's, it's vital to have players that can go past, past players with, you know, with great skill. Um, Ryan, obviously, you mentioned, and Rude as well, the, the fast feet and the, the skill they show to get past players is, is great, and it, it creates opportunities and you know, chances for other players. It's great to hear so many people chanting your name. It, it gives you a big lift and a big boost for the game. For 
someone as good as Paul Scholes, skill is now instinctive. The Matthews is a great skill to perfect, and with enough practice, you'll be able to perform it without thinking too. Yes! came to me I had the belief in my mind that I was gonna run at the defender and beat him and I knew which trick I was going to use uh, the defender was quite isolated I think at the time so uh, all I needed to do was you know unbalance him just send him one way and go the other and you know with me being so positive it managed you know, I managed to get past him put a crossing in uh, you know scores he did what he does best scissors Great skill to beat an opponent when you run straight at them. Have a look. Going straight at the defender. Let me show you going the other way. Because with the scissors, you can beat the defender either way. Let's break it down. It's four steps to the scissor. Step one, plant your non-kicking foot behind the ball. Knee bent, weight going forward. Step two, swing your kicking foot around between ball and standing leg. Place the weight on this foot. Step three, move your kicking foot around behind the ball. Step four, with the laces of this foot, push the ball past the defender. Jesse, can you be my defender in a minute? Right? You the defender, Jesse. I'm running straight at you. A space behind you. I'm using the scissor to beat you. Ready? Right, there you go. Right, important. Jesse didn't do too much to the defender. It's important that you have the right distance, that you not get too close. Because if you get too close, the ball will run into the defender and you will lose it. Jesse, you're going to have a go. I'll be your defender. So remember that, Jess, right? That you keep your right distance, otherwise you run into me. Off you go. Brilliant, brilliant one, well done, good. Yes, that's it. You need the right distance away from the defender. That's it, Ben, well, well done. Watch the swing of the foot around the ball. The quicker you do this, the more you'll fool the defender. This is a great variation on the scissors. We do the double scissors, but it means you even need more distance, right? So what you're actually doing is you go twice, right? So you go one, two, and then you pass, go past the defender. Let me show you. So it's a good run up to the defender. There's the space, look. One, two, hop, and away I go. With the double scissors, the foot you begin the movement with is the same foot you push the ball away with. Performed well, the scissors is almost impossible to defend against. And to do it well, you need to you guessed it, practice. Before I get the ball, I, I, I see, well, I'm going to be one-on-one -on -one with the defender. So I, as soon as I control the ball, my first, the first thing I do, the first touch I do is out my feet and I head straight for the defender. And then straight away, the defender goes, whoa, he's running at me here. So as he's backing off, then I can choose which side I want to go. If I'm playing left back and I want to get down the left wing, I go right over left. If I'm playing right back, I go left over right and vice versa. And, but the most important thing to me is a good touch out your feet and head straight for the defender. That backs him off. It gives you a little bit of time to decide which way you want to go. What about the distance, Phil, to the defender? I mean, you know, the ball is rolling, mm. you're going forward, you still have to do that. I, I don't what... think you can get too close. I think, I think you still need time, you know, to throw a good dummy in and then push it out your feet. So you can't get too close to him. You just get enough, enough space between your balls so you can get the skill in and go past him. Anton, could you just have a, one more try to see if you could beat Phil? Because at the end of the day, you try to be the, you know, a Premier League defender here, right? <laughs> so try to see if you can put everything in practice, right? You, you're really going for it, are you? 
Hey, hey, look him in the eyes. You want to scare him? Are you ready? Go. Good lad. Good lad. Brilliant. Good distance, Anton. What Anton did there was very good. His, his first touch was straight at me, and straight away, I thought he's coming at me. He didn't get too close. Right over left, and he's away. He can shoot or he can score, and uh, that was very good. If you have the space, double up the scissors to unbalance a defender. I think this is even better than the, the single scissor because you do this a couple of times and obviously every game's on television. People expect you to just do the scissors all the time, but if you can throw the double scissors in, then that'll fool the defender even more. So you need to just leave yourself a little bit more space than you would for a single scissor because obviously you've got to go around the ball twice. But again, head straight for the defender. Bags of confidence. Believe that you're going to beat the defender. And I'm sure you will. Even, even there, where Phil has his first touch, the moment he throws his first mm -hmm. foot around the ball, that's when defenders go, yeah. what's next? And then before they even can readjust, you go bam, bam, and that's it. But you saw the space in between. Mm. And that's I, very think, I think it's important that the space still remains quite big between you because you've got to get two scissors in now. And, you know, you need space just in case, you know, the pitch is a little bit dry or the pitch is wet. You need that space between you, so you've still got space to go either side to put a cross or a shot in. You practice skills, you have to uh, go past players, so you need to develop a, a technique and a skill that will fool the defender. From a very early age, that's all me and Gary have done, really. So Phil and Gary well, learnt the same way you will, with a ball, some space that's it, that's it. and lots of dedication. This type of skill is achievable and a lot of fun. The first touch, there. Take him on, take him on! When we have possession, stretch, play the full width of the pitch. Well done, that's it, good lad. Oh. My role is to uh, look after the food and fluid intakes of the players and make sure that they're getting all the right nutrients. All those things that you know you grow up as a kid eating, you know, they're still the things that you like now, but you just eat them in moderation. It's all about balance. Chocolate. Fruits. Chinese. Vegetables. Crisps. Occasional convenience food or junk food balanced with good eating for the rest of the week is, is not a problem at all. It is a lot stricter. I mean, you don't you know, eat as much as what you would like in terms of those sorts of foods, but it's a small sacrifice, and to be honest with you, you have to look after your body. I used to have before crisps, but since I come here, uh, they're measuring all our body fats, and uh, I've, I've stopped that. <laughs> what a young player has when he comes into the team. The fearlessness to, to go out and not be afraid. People say to me, like, what's, what's it like playing in front of 67,000? Like, I'd, I'd be more afraid taking, taking a golf shot on the first hole in front of 10 people than, than playing in Old Trap. It's just it's a strange feeling and being young helps you get over that fear. Roll across. Let me show you how we do it. First, before I go and say anything further, roll across. Very good skill, where there's loads of defenders around you. Ben, can you come in? You are the defender coming in from this side. Nicky, when you come in on this side, right? You're all coming in close, right? I need to try to lose you both. Are you ready, Ben? Right? That's it, great, fantastic. So, you know, Anton, can you come in? Right, Anton. Good lad, excellent, well done. Very good, excellent, good stuff. Four steps to this skill. Step one, the ball's in front of your kicking foot. <coughs> Step two, place your kicking foot on top of the ball. Have your weight on your non-kicking foot. <coughs> Step three, roll the ball across your body with the sole of your boot. Shift your weight to the other foot. Step four, push the ball past the defender. 
a move to work well, you need to perform it quickly. Do you remember your uh, Newcastle away game? I was going to say, I could have been lucky, but... <laughs> yeah, but still, you know, you, you got through... You actually got pressurised yeah. by two defenders. Yeah. And a crossbar, and it was Giggsy, I think. Finished it. We picked it up and yeah. Can you show us that, John? Just that yeah. simple thing, yeah, just... It's important because the, the defender facing you, you have to try and give him the dummy. So, it's your body shape. You need to push him that way. Then you go like that, boom. And you're hoping that your touch can take away the second defender. It's very important. You might go too far over, and the other defender will take it. So you've got to do it in a quick motion. So we quickly picture it, Justin. If you were the first defender, you're the first defender. You're challenging, let's say you're challenging John from here in the box. And now we're pretending that the goal is over there, right? That's yeah. the situation. And Ben, you were the second defender who was a little bit like that. That's yeah. the tight situation where we're looking at. So then, just try to do it again, John. Now, the same thing. Off, in, and between. Remember that? Right, step back then. Brilliant, well done. Justin. You want to give it a go? You think you can do it? Yeah. Right, just turn it up, mate. Let's have a look at it. Right, John is the first defender. Ben is still the second defender. you got to give me the dummy. I'm going to go this way. Right, come on, Justin. Yeah, excellent. Fantastic, fantastic. Brilliant, excellent. I think the hardest part there maybe is the drag. That's what I'd feel anyway, but the best way I used to practice it was I just used to run to the halfway line, sideways, just kept doing that. And on the way back, I'd use the right foot. Just keep doing that. You might find it's a little bit boring, but once you know you can do it in a match, if you're going to be under pressure and you're going to be able to beat a defender and get a chance on goal, it's going to be fantastic, so keep practicing. It's an incredible feeling coming down the tunnel. The hair stand up on the back of the neck. Absolutely incredible. It never came really too natural to me. You had to keep practicing at it and gradually you get better. And I've always been fortunate to be fairly comfortable on the wall, but it's when you practice that the skills come off. It wasn't too long ago that John O'Shea was in the same position as these academy players. He's grown a bit since then, though. They are all hard work they're trying to give to you. Game, Ella. Good girl. We have several main aims. The most important one with young players is to make football a fun experience. The ultimate aim is to produce players who are capable of playing in our first team. There have been many of those over the last decade. Skulls, gigs, the Nevilles, the list goes on. And they all learnt those skills under the guidance of the United coaching staff. When you get the airway um, learning experience, what we do with eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds, that stays with them. That's the best time. They always say about those ages from eight to about 12 years of age are the, the real fundamental years in terms of bringing a, a, a basic foundation into everyone's um, teaching experience. We want them to dribble because it's flair that, that will eventually win Manchester United championships. Teamwork's important, but it's the flair players that fill the stadium every week. It's just better quality all around, really, better facilities. You're playing with better players. The coaches are obviously well respected. It's just a massive change and one that you've got to enjoy and make the most of, really. United's scouting system spreads across the northwest, looking for youngsters to introduce into the club's academy centres. The cream of the crop get invited to United's training ground at Carrington from the age of nine. I think that the academy is probably the best in the world. The staff that I have are highly skilled, 
very, very committed and, and that we're going to have a steady production line of, of players for the future. I mean, my hope is obviously that we can keep producing players that will serve as the first team. And if not, they benefit from being here and there'll be a lot who never play for Manchester United, but who will, who will always say it was wonderful to be there because they made a great success of their life having been part of our, our development system. <laughs> than attack, there's nothing more beautiful than, uh, than, than score a goal and to, to beat a player and uh, that, that's what you do everything for, that's why you run in pre-season, that's why you practice all, all your skills, that's why, uh, you know, that's the reason for, uh, for me to be a football player. Play! Yeah. There are skills you can use well, in any situation, it. but every now and then there's one skill that's just right. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it there, stop. Well done. Just bring it in a minute, Justin and Jesse. Just come in here. Let me show you. Roller coaster. It's a great skill when you're running at pace at a defender. You try to run into the space next to the defender, right? Which you were doing. Let me show you how that roller coaster goes, right? You're taking the ball at an angle, flick around, you twist, and you beat the defender in the space beside him. Let me break this down. And there's four steps to this skill. Step one, place your kicking foot on top of the ball. Step two, use a little jump to plant your kicking foot over and in front of the ball, twisting your body at the same time. Step three, place your non-kicking foot on top of the ball. Step four, use that foot to drag the ball past the defender. Now, Jimmy, just step out and let's... Revisit what Ben was doing in the game, right? Ben, you were running in the space beside Jim, right? Just in straight line, Jim, with me, right? So there we go. Look, I'm taking it beside Jim, and when he steps out, that's when I do the roller coaster to beat him. It looks complicated, but follow the steps and remember that little jump to get your foot in front of the ball. Ben, you step out, you do the same thing, right? As you were, you were running into the space beside Jimmy, and now you try to do the roller coaster to beat him. You happy? Go. Brilliant, well done, excellent. Remember, with every skill, when we've done the skill, we want an end product, right? This one is excellent to set you up for a shot and ideally score a goal. Let me show you. When I'm here in Ben's position, we've got a small goal there, but Jimmy is again defending. I take him away. There you go, Jim. Look, he comes across. Bang. This touch sets me up for a shot. Boom. And finish. Right? Take him to the side. Twist, turn, finish. Good. Well done. Turn, left. Well done, Justin. Finish. Good. A confident finish as well. Bang. Play it in. Nicky, quick. Good turn, bang, fantastic. It's one of the most dramatic skills in football. But remember, start out slowly to perfect the spin. Once you've got the footwork sorted, build up your speed. I think a defender, they're never gonna read what you're going to do and what you know is you're going to you're going on to that way so you take it the other way a little bit a little bit just a little and then you make the movement excellent you got just to speed up the whole thing yeah. you dribble you take him here and then bam that's where you want to go quick daddy can you step out as a defender <laughs> he's big huh <laughs> <laughs> Bye. fantastic Good stuff. Danny, can you have a go? And Rude be the defender. Ooh. You go, Dan. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. It's okay. It's the first time. Do it again. 
Yeah, you see, that's important, huh? Things can go wrong because you're not going to be perfect the whole game. You're going to make mistakes, but you don't care. That's the main thing. The moment you make a mistake, it's over. You go for the next one. You never stop doing it. Yes. Oh, yes. That's the one. Excellent. Brilliant. He does it well, eh? He comes dribbling, 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 and then he makes the... Yeah. He's speeding up the things. Just, uh, just one good. more. Uh, Larnell, can you have a... Have well a done. go, just to see if, if other players can do it as well. Right? We don't... You don't have any trials, Larnell. <laughs> you just go full speed straight away. Are you happy? Go on, then. Yes, well done. Good and finish. And a great finish. Excellent. Just bring it in, Larnell. Well done. I think... The very most important thing is that you always keep trying. And we just saw the example. You tried to do a skill, it didn't work out. But OK, that's, that's part of the game. The next time you get the ball, you get new chances. It doesn't matter if you score in the 97th minute or in the first minute or at half, just before half time. It's just for the whole game, you're focused on what you want to do. You work hard, work for your team, and never stop trying. It's a party. Ah! These kids can live up to that, they'll be stars in the United First Team, just like Rude. Take him on, take him on. Woo! Well done. Yes, finish! Good! Finish, finish! Now, this is how you do a roller coaster. Finish! Good! Finish! Finishing was again well a different well class. Done. We're dealing with like uh, 90 odd players a day, twice a day, so there's 180 uh, training kits alone. And it's a constant production line going all the time. They have a new kit for the morning, new kit in the afternoon, and uh, before girls, they, they, just, they just work their socks off. Every mistake that's made at the club is, uh, is um, Albert's problem. It's his fault. <laughs> a trick that I played on him and all the staff were in on it was this, was his bag, a bag that he had, that I christened the decorator's bag. <laughs> and one day he came in with this, with this bag and he said, will you just set that upstairs? He said, while well, I go and do an interview. So I said, yeah, no problem. So it was a game out with you on murder. That kit wasn't played out right, I wasn't weighed out the right way. I knew he was going away with his wife. So I loaded it up with a load of, under all his clothes, I loaded it up with a load of paintbrushes, old rollers and odds and sods, and uh, zipped it up and put it in his office, and off he goes on his holidays with it. Well, about one o'clock in the morning, the next morning when he gets to his destination, the phone went. Uh, the language was choice, but it was a good laugh. He's used to that, you know. This is a, a gentle joke. There have been many great years at United, but none better than 1999. We just knew that there was something magical going to happen. On the 30th of May, the team returned to a hero's welcome after winning an unprecedented FA Premier League, FA Cup and Champions League treble. The reception that awaited them was all a bit too much for one local lad. One of the highlights for me was, was coming home and being a born and bred in Manchester. Was when we went under the bridge at Deansgate on the bus and just saw the people down Deansgate. I'll never forget that moment. It was frightening. In his time, Albert has seen lots of trophies arrive, but he still gets a buzz from watching the team he's supported since childhood. I've had a season ticket since I was six. I've still got. And the football that I've seen at this club. Uh, over the years has been, well, fantastic. And I, and, and I turn round even now when I'm sat on the bench and I say to the manager or oh, Mick Phelan, by God, we can play. 
nowadays and is you are having a lot of skills and that's nice for football also you you need to have everything you know players who have skills and other players who who tackle everything you know in a, in a team because it's not all show f for the for the people no so it's getting better Good strike, Justin. Well done. Great one, Jimmy. Number three, Jess. Oh, Nicky, last one. Well done. Bring it in, Jess. I'm the striker. With the back to the goal, and I'm marked. Anton, you're my defender. So that is a different situation. I'm not facing the goal yet. So, Jesse, if you can have the ball, are you going to play me in? I need his skill to get around Anton. Look at this. Play me in, Jess. And then I still can finish. The pace of the ball is very important because you use the pace to spin around and away of the defender. Step one. As the ball is travelling towards you, take a step forward and plant your non-kicking foot in front of the ball. Step two. Receive the ball with the inside of the kicking foot. <coughs> Step three, twist your body and take the ball away, all in one movement. Yeah. Anton, can you come back out again? You are the striker now. You've got the ball. Good. Now, it's important, Anton, that, because I'm marking you very tight, that you get away of me. So what you do is, that's right, good positioning, sideways on, get your arm up like this and push me away to get that yard. Right. Oh, excellent. Good. And bang, and a good finish. Good shot as well. Twist. Good. And finish. It's important you really take the ball away from the defender in that spin. Good. Well done. A confident finish as well. Fantastic. Make a big step first. Without that, the ball will stick in your feet. Diego Forlan has more than his fair share of skills, and as a striker, this turn is a must. What's, what's important points to look at to make this skill work? Well, they have to look the the player who has the ball. Yeah. And well, they have to know each other, and and something important is to know where is the defender, because if you don't have uh, how do you say? Uh, the feel where, the he feel is. where he is, he can anticipate your, your ball. Right. So it's difficult for you. So you have to, you need to have sometimes the, the defender in, uh, in your back, then you push him and you go, and then you have the time to turn. This turn is so effective if you want to use the speed of the pass to turn the defender and get a shot in. Right. Who wants to have a go with that? Justin. You, my man, right? Diego, can you defend him? Yeah, right? no problem. And then, you know, just talk him through a little bit, help yeah. him if he doesn't do anything the way you yeah. want it. Oh, he's going the other way as well. It's Excellent, good. good stuff, beautiful, well done. Very good. Jesse, can you do it? Ben. Excellent. Very what, good. What was good? Uh, what was good about when he pushed himself away? What did you do? Yeah, but you did something. Shall we? Exactly. Yeah. He shouted. Because that's important to keep, you know, communicating. Yeah, it's very important, it. both. Because you can do the movement, everything. And sometimes in a game you're trying to do this and they give you the ball, and the, the, the other player give you the ball in the wrong moment. So it's not, you're not going to turn like this. You have to wait, stop the ball, and it's another, it's another situation, you know? You have to sacrifice something. Like being here, you have to be without. Uh, not being with your friends and family, so 
to do something if you want, and to do it well, you have to sacrifice some things. Let's put the boot on the other foot. Every now and then, you're going to come up against an opponent with skill, and you better know how to deal with them. Manchester United's defenders are among the best in the world, so who better to talk you through the art of defending? You try to guess which trick is going to do, or uh, which direction is going to go, and you try to stay on your feet because that's the best way uh, to defend. The tackle is the last, the last one you, you want to use. Tip number one, stay on your feet. Only tackle as a last resort. If he's strong on one side, um, if he's right-footed, maybe show him onto his left. Maybe try and affect him in other ways. And that means maybe tackle him hard, see if he's brave. Maybe you know, try and um, talk to him, mentally try and affect him. There are ways that you can get to play. I mean, if a player is mentally strong, quick, strong, he's getting service, then you are in trouble. Tip two, physical strength isn't always enough. A lot of it's mental. Um... Um, at the end of the day, you, you've got to keep your eye on the ball, not dive in because, you know, if you've got a tricky forward out there, you know, you just knock it past you. And hopefully, you know, your teammates will help you out anyway and, you know, cover you just in case, you know, he um, actually does go past you and you, you've got help around you as well. Tip number three, turn defence into attack. When I was young, I was playing midfield, uh, running everywhere, up and down the field. So I always had uh, that attraction for, for going in, in attack. There are few faster fullbacks in world football than Mikhail Silvest. And he proves that even if you're a defender, you can still be an attacking, skillful player. Obviously, I'm winning to do it in style. It's what makes this club different from everybody else. The whole time I've been a kid watching Man United, they've always excited me, and that was a main factor in me coming here as well. Obviously, being successful is the number one thing, but when you do it in style, there's no better feeling, I'm sure. Right, Potsy, ball. Brilliant, bring it in, boys, bring it in, lads. Flick behind, right? You can see Rio doing it in attack, you can see Rio doing it in defence. Let's have a look at it, Potsy. Can you play me the ball in, right? If the ball comes in, there's the flick. Out you go. Great, great skill to get away. Same thing, Potsy. Play me the ball in again with my other foot. Ball comes in. Right now with your left, boom, and you change the other direction in the other way. Brilliant. Play me the ball and then you put me under pressure. Come on, that, and out I go. Change direction and away you go. No chance in coming back. Dan, if you can come in for a minute, Daniel, you are my defender from behind, and Thomas got the ball, right? There's the situation, because now, there's the goal. Root is there, so midfield is breaking forward. There's the defender. First thing what Root needs to do is create space, right? Just pushing away the defender, create that yard, play me in. Now he can do the same flick, and then he can go forward to maybe shoot a goal. Step one, you need to be square onto the ball as it travels towards you. Step two, take a big step and plant your non-kicking foot in front of the ball. Step three, as the ball rolls between your legs, bring your kicking foot in beside the ball. Step four, with the inside of your kicking foot, flick the ball behind your standing leg. Well done. Come on, David. Good. Come on, David, play then. Stop there, one second. Oh, Brad, let's, let me stop you there, one second. Right, David, you've got the ball, right. Brad, if you don't open your legs enough, the ball will hit your back heel, right? David, roll that ball in. So when the ball comes in, make sure you make a good big step to put that full, that's it. See, now you're creating the space to flick the ball through. Can you flick it through now? Excellent, well done. Look at the big step here. Remember, get the first movement right, and it will make the skill easy. You little Manchester lad, yeah? Uh, what's happened to your hair, man? Is that a new style on the street? Takes him. Takes him half an hour every morning, will you? To do your hair like that? Can you feel okay. it? Is it hard? Jeez. When the ball comes in, there's your little flick out and away. The pace of the ball's got to be right a little bit quick. 
and you've got to have the right people around you to make you do it. You can't, there's no point in doing it when there's no one there. It's good you've got to look around before you and see what's happening around you, make sure there's no players in your way. If there's someone around you and you need to get out of trouble, maybe just not just doing that, there's not enough sometimes. You might have to put a little, little fainting to go backwards again. It depends how it comes as well. I think for me personally, if I say to myself, I'm going to do a certain skill when the ball comes to me now, it's, it doesn't, doesn't really work as well, does it? I think it's when it's just off the cuff, when it yeah. just happens like that, when the ball comes into you and you don't think about it and you just do it automat automatically, that's when it works the best. How would you use the skill in the game? When someone passes the ball and like there's a, a few players around me and it's, I'm under a little bit of pressure and I need to get out of the way, that's when you use it to get out of trouble and then pass it to a teammate. Because sometimes you don't want to just kick it into the, into the stands and you're under pressure, you want to be able to keep the ball for your team. Where else on the pitch would you use the skill? Well, where do you play? Left wing or up Left wing, wing when you're up, up left wing or up front. Yeah. When someone gives you the ball and you've got someone up behind you, maybe. You're away from trouble. Rio, shall we test them? Shall we play them a couple of balls and then see how they work? Let's see how they can do it. Lionel, no, no, can you step out? Step, step up on this side. Rio's got the ball. Rio's closing you down. Yeah. Can you get out? I'll give right. them an easy one first. That's nice. Well done, right. How old are you? Ten. Ten. <laughs> right then. Put him under pressure, Ria, now. Yep. Come on, Lionel, you're ready. Oh, oh nice. All right. Can you do the same thing? <laughs> Lionel? Yeah. Can you do the same thing, you're doing both, but you're really a skill. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just flick it behind. See, I don't want to see if that works. <laughs> see, I'm a skill. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Well done. Right, anybody else? Tom, because you're left footed. Yeah. Right? So you might do it with your left to get out of trouble. Good lad. Good stuff. Nice. Good stuff. Brilliant. See, when I was growing up, it was like more about on the winning the games and stuff like that. Yeah. When you used to see all the skills on the council estates, however, on the streets, and they used to see the skills, but not in the football clubs. Yeah. Nah. Hopefully, it seems to be coming back. Practice your skills whenever you can, wherever you can. If the biggest club in the world values this, you should too. From your own personal point of view, are there a couple of other skills that you know, like in the game, you I feel comfortable do. with? Yeah. Like the one, it's like, I'll, I'll call it, it's like the, I know Peter Beasley used to do it all the time. Right. To get a bit of space to, to shoot, but yeah, you know, that, that one when you go like that. Oh, you run right. at somebody. Just, just a little. Yeah, or well, the ball's coming towards you, so you play him in the ball. I think I'd have left you for dead there. <laughs> 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 well, that normally gets, a, it gets you a yard normally, if no one, if they don't know you. Sometimes yeah. if a player knows you and you do it all the time, then you get into you can get into trouble. But that's where you need to have variation on skills. Oh, absolutely right. Some of the other stars there was not daunting, but it was just it was nice to be in that kind of company. I've never been in a situation where I've had so many world class players under one roof, and it was nice to be a part of that. But how would the world's most expensive defender fare against some world-class players of the future? As a defender, so for me, I know when to time my run. If you're a defender, and I'm the fir my first run will be to check that way. If the cross comes from there, then you look at me so I can get in front of you. Just make space for yourself. Solskjaer is particularly good at controlling high passes. He uses his shoulders to help him cushion the ball on his chest and then spins to score. Ole, it's one touch. Give it a good one. That's Whoa. a good one. Boom, finish. Bang. Three. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, beauty. Excellent. Yeah, beauty. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Boom. Oh, fantastic. Whoa. Oh, yeah, beauty. Most of the time, you've got a defender against you. So when you chest the ball, you chest it away from the defender uh, and you control it. And it, then it's important not to take... The, when you take the ball, not that, that it takes too long in the air. Bring it down and shoot on the... Don't shoot, shoot him, I throw you a ball, just to show you. 
down Man. and shoot. Ah, oh, it's on. Right. You, you don't want to chest it so it goes up. Then the defender can. He's got time to to tackle you. Down and shoot before it before it bounces. That's an easy one to try, and our final skill of the programme. Now it's time to go out and put the instruction into practice. So the best footballers in the world have shown you how they play like champions. Use these skills, express yourself. They could be your route to the top. I think if you take these things, your ability to be able to play in a game of football with a good talent and of great enthusiasm about you, you're going to have a career. Third question. If you're going to be a footballer, be a good one. Everyone has a dream. If you're going to have a dream, make sure it's a big one.